Hey guys, Violet here. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make banana bread. Now, this isn't my recipe if you've ever had my banana bread before. This is actually my mom's recipe that was submitted in the Curl Cookbook, which is a family cookbook. So we're going to use this recipe in today's episode. So the first thing we need to do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Then we're going to need to get all of our ingredients pre-measured and we're going to need to get about three or four bananas about this color, well ripened. The riper your banana, the more flavorful your banana bread is going to be. So you need about two cups, which is three or four bananas. And then everything else, after you get everything pre-measured, then we'll, we'll go over to the stand mixer and we'll mix everything together. In our bowl, we are going to mix together the shortening and the sugar on medium speed until it is creamed together. Now that that's been creamed together, we will add in the egg. Now let's scrape down the sides of the bowl and then we're going to mix it again on medium. Okay, so like I said, we're going to mix the ingredients on medium until everything is well incorporated. Okay, so your mixture should look like this. and it should be well creamed together. Our next step is going to be adding in the flour mixture and you'll do this a little at a time until everything is incorporated. You can turn off the mixer if you want to do it that way or you can have it on while adding in your ingredients. Okay, I'm going to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Now I'm going to mix it again. Okay, next we're going to add in the banana. And then we're going to mix that until all the ingredients are well combined. After these ingredients have been combined, this is the point where you would add in a cup of chopped nuts if you wanted to have banana nut bread. I'm not going to be adding that ingredient in since I prefer not to have nuts in my banana bread. So for me this is what mine's going to look like. It's going to be a doughy consistency. It's going to look something like that. Kind of like a nice dough. And then we're going to put this into a, a greased loaf pan if you want to make banana bread or you can put them in a um, muffin pan to make banana muffins. So next we're going to put this in our pan. Okay so our banana bread has been fully mixed and it should look in a doughy consistency kind of like this and then we're going to pour it into our loaf pan which I have pre-greased with Baker's Joy since it automatically puts the flour with the grease. Otherwise you can grease it down and then lightly dust it with flour. So we're just going to put the dough batter into the pan and then we're going to spread it evenly throughout the pan okay so it's not going to be filled completely up and you're going to want to spread from the center out to the sides because as it rises it's going to pool in the center and this way you'll have a more um, less dome shaped loaf so it should look like that. It's not going to come all the way up on the sides. It's going to look shallow, but we put in baking soda and baking powder, which is going to cause it to rise. So once our batter is in our loaf, we're going to bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 50 minutes to an hour, depending on your oven. And the best way to check to see if your banana bread is done is by the toothpick method, which if you recall from previous episodes, you just take the toothpick and you put it into your loaf and if it comes out clean then it's done. So we're going to bake this and then we'll come back when it's all done. So after your banana bread is finished, like I told you guys, you use a toothpick, you just insert it into your bread and you pull it out and as long as it comes out clean that means it's done. So it should look like this, a nice light golden brown color. It's okay for the split, it's perfectly fine, it's normal. And um, the outside texture is a little bit um, I guess you could say crunchy, 
which is okay. Um, it'll give it a, a nice texture to it. So after a few minutes like this, you're going to put it onto a cooling rack, and then from there, you let it cool a little bit longer, and then you'll be able to serve it. So that does it for today's episode. Uh, the banana bread is going to be absolutely delicious. You can heat it up in the microwave whenever you cut off a slice. If you want it to be warm, you can add a little bit of butter. Or you can serve it as is, and you can give it as a, as a gift. It would be a great gift to give. So um, remember to hit subscribe, like this video, share with your friends, and remember to leave a comment in the section below with a recipe that you'd like to see featured in the upcoming weeks. Thank you for watching.